morning. Coming to you from the European Utility Week. This morning I am speaking to Nicholas Arkauth, who is the president of the Prime Alliance and the smart grid director for Iberdrola, the international energy company. Nico, thank you so much for being with us this My morning. My pleasure. My pleasure. So now I wanted to ask you, where do you see the future of smart metering and smart grid going? That's an interesting question because you are implying in your question that the smart grids and the smart metering is something about to come. But I would say it is a reality now. In some countries and in some regions, uh, the penetration of smart meters have reached 99% and also with the combination of distribution automation technology and IoT technology, sensors, actuators, the combination of smart grids and smart metering is already a reality for the benefit of our customers and for the efficiency of our operations. Obviously that depends on region from country to country or from, regions, uh, from region to region, but I would say that, uh, for example, in Spain, with virtually 100% of smart meters deployed and with a high degree of digitalization, we are leading the future of smart grids, which is now a reality. So obviously, as we are becoming more digitalized, the, the need for connectivity is increasing. How is the, the, the requirement for connectivity achieved in order to fulfill all these applications yeah. that we, we have? I, I would say that depends on, on the applications we're talking about. For example, if you think of remote meter reading, the, the bandwidth may be substantial, but certainly latency is not an issue because if you read a meter now or in five or ten minutes, you can use that data for billing purposes. Whereas if you are actuating remotely a reconnector, bandwidth may be very, very limited because it is a very short message, but certainly it has to be executed in milliseconds. So depending on the applications, you have different requirements. I would say two that are common to all. One, number one is cybersecurity, because the number of devices planted in the network, the distribution network is thousands and thousands of kilometers and miles dispersed over territory. So we plant dispersed devices and certainly cybersecurity is number one priority. But also I would say interoperability is a priority. We are here in Vienna, we come from different countries. In our personal connectivity devices, we may have iPads, we may have iPhones, uh, PCs, and it doesn't matter if they are a Hewlett Packard or Dell or whatever brand they use. We go to the hotel, Wi-Fi connectivity, and we go online. That's amazing. That's yeah. the vision we have for the future of smart grids, where interoperability provides a seamless experience both for uh, our colleagues in the utility and for the customers we serve. So, number one, cybersecurity. Number two, interoperability. So that brings me to a very important question, and that is, how is Prime Alliance helping to make this seamless connectivity a reality? Well, Prime, very few people know that Prime is an acronym that stands for Prime, that part from Powerline Intelligent Metering Evolution. So our role in Prime is to evolve the technology that was born less than 10 years ago. So 10 years ago, maybe a short time, but for information technology and operational technology and telecoms, it's quite a substantial period of time. So uh, looking, and when we look at the future of Prime and when we um, look what is about to come, it is like when, when you're driving, it's, it is good to look at the rear view mirror to see what, what, what is behind you. So when looking at, 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 at the future, we have to look at the past. And looking at the past, as, as I said, 10 years ago, Prime was born. The first uh, Prime meter was installed and, and it was a breakthrough because it was the very first open and publicly available power line communications technology, but it, it was also the very first one that was based on OFDM, which is a orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. I'm sorry, this is getting too technical, <laughs> but it was the very first modern PLC technology, right? Okay. Now we are talking about IPv6, we are talking about uh, a robust mode, we are talking about extension, of, uh, extension to FCC band, but the future will bring us certainly a broadband uh, prime version for high bandwidth and now we will be, to or then we will be talking in terms of megabits per second and not in terms of tens of kilobits per second which is what Prime is today. So I would say a, 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 a bright past and a real present and a magnificent future for Prime. Thank you very much.
Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> and coming to you from the European Utility Week, thanks for watching.